launched a new video into our newsroom tonight showing body cam footage of a fight on October 15th at the UNM NMSU football game that was the alleged precursor to the deadly shooting on UNM's campus involving a New Mexico State men's basketball player, Mike Peake. KTSM 9 Sports Director Colin Deaver joins us with more. Colin. Andy, this is the original video that began circulating heavily on social media after that November 19th shooting that left Peak injured and UNM student Brandon Travis dead tonight. KTSM obtained police body camera footage of the fight on October 15th. According to police, Travis and his friends wanted revenge against Peak and others because of this fight and lured Peak to UNM on the 19th of November. We want to warn you, some of the images in the video we're about to show you could be disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. But here is this police body camera footage in which you can see Mike Peake and fellow New Mexico State men's basketball player Marcellus Avery engaged in the fight along with several other unidentified people. Certainly a melee, but a police report about it was never filed about this fight by any law enforcement entity. New Mexico State has said that it disciplined Peake and Avery for their involvement in the fight, but have never specified how they were disciplined. NMSU declined to comment today about this new video. The day the original fight of the fight serviced now last month, we reported about the potential involvement of UTEP student athletes in it. Back on November 22nd, UTEP sent us this statement regarding the incident. They referred us back to the same statement today. Here it is, quote, university officials are currently reviewing the alleged involvement of UTEP student athletes, excuse me, students in the October 15th incident at Aggie Memorial Stadium in accordance with university policy. We are unable to discuss matters concerning specific students, end quote. Now, UTEP fans may remember that the same day UTEP released that statement, minors men's basketball player Mario McKinney did not play that night versus Alcorn State in the Jim Forbes Classic. Joe Golding did not discuss McKinney's absence that night, and he was back on the court the next day versus Cal State Bakersfield. Shelby Cap will have much more on this new video tonight at 10 on KTSM.